hello 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 welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so my name is jessica oka um to the, on today's video i'm going to be doing a declutter of my wardrobe i'm going to be doing a 2023 reset yeah. every time when it's a new year i'm always like oh i'm going to do this next year i'm going to do this next year and i end up not doing those things because i don't prepare for the new year I've never ever ever done a new year reset. I just said these are my goals for 2022. And 2022 started and I did not do any of those goals. So this time I want to start right by ending the year right so that I will start the year in a good note. So the first thing that I'm going to do to make sure that I start the, the 20, year 2023 right is to reflect on 2022. What did I do wrong? what did i do right where um what what did i miss what 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 are the things that happened in my life that i don't want to happen again in 2023 so i'm going to reflect on the year 2022 my career my life my mental health everything related to my life in the year 2022 to see what i need to do better mm, better to see what i need to do better or what I need to keep doing to be able to be able to have a great new year to be able to have a awesome fulfilling 2023 so that's the first thing reflect on 2022 the second thing I plan on doing I've already started it that's what I told you at the beginning of this video is that I've already started it is that I started decluttering my my space I started by doing a mini room makeover I wanted my space to look the way I want it to be in the year 2023 so I changed some things in my room and, and then I also started by making sure that I did clean my room clean remove things that I didn't want to be in my room anymore I cleaned it I threw things away I arranged things I, I didn't just leave my room the way it was because I want to start 2023 in a good note so if you want to start 2023 with a good note the first thing the most important thing is to end 2022 on a good note so that's why i started by decluttering my space and then in this video i'm going to declutter my wardrobe and organize my wardrobe so my wardrobe is an absolute mess and in this video you're going to join me and decluttering my wardrobe throwing the things that i'm no longer using keeping the things that are for summer that i know i'm not going to be wearing this winter so those are the things that i'm going to be doing to make sure that i end 2023 well when i when i see my wardrobe was a mess this is exactly what i meant an actual mess since i came back from Nigeria, i've not done anything arrangement i just put them there after washing them i put them there so first thing i'm going to do is move everything to my bed to start arranging this is the pile of clothes i want to arrange organize actually organize in my wardrobe so this is how the wardrobe looks like now when it's empty before i start folding okay, i'm separating the clothes right eh? these ones are precious ones those ones are the ones i'll not be wearing this summer these ones are the ones i'll be wearing this winter so i'm separating them to see what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of and then so I'm presently in a train going to um, Wigan it's in Manchester for my New Year's. I'm celebrating New Year's with my family. So what I'm doing here now is sorting out the clothes. So I successfully separated them. This one, winter, summer, precious. Now it's time to start arranging them inside the wardrobe. This one's going to be not finished. Speaking of being on the train, why is it that these people that announce the train, um, whatever on the train, you never hear what they are saying? They are always going. The only thing you hear from them is thank you. Anyway, I'm trying to hang all the clothes now, and then the ones that I need to hang actually then. From there, I will start folding the ones that don't need hanging. So that's what I'm doing now. 
when I saw this pile of clothes at first, I was like, when am I going to finish this folding, Jessica? Why did you allow yourself to have a very scattered wardrobe like this before you can start organizing? But funny enough, it didn't take me one hour to be done because I was extremely focused on these tags because I opened my wardrobe today and I was like, Jessica, this is not the kind of wardrobe you want to be living in. So I had to do something and I'm glad that I did something to it and was able to organize this thing. What I want to make sure that I do after organizing this wardrobe is to have a maintenance culture. I don't want to be like Nigerian government, I don't know what maintenance culture is. So instead of scattering it again, I'm going to try to um, always put the things that I remove in the right place so that I don't have to stress myself. Anyway, I am done with organizing the wardrobe now. It wasn't as easy as you saw me doing it because of I sped up everything. It really took a toll on me that when I fell on the bed to sleep, I just went, oh, till the next day. Thank you for watching my wardrobe organization. The first thing I'm going to do is to clean my bathroom. Yes, every place in my i want every i want to i want it to feel like i'm just starting my life again so i'm going to be cleaning my bathroom in fact i've cleaned my bathroom already because so you, in this video you'll be seeing me cleaning my bathroom so i've cleaned my bathroom i've cleaned my room i've done a room makeover i've cleaned my wardrobe everything to make sure that I'm ending 2023 on a 2022 I'm ending 2022 on a clean note yes because I want to go into 2023 the way I started 2022 I did not start 2022 well though. I was just all over the place I didn't follow any of my goals I didn't do anything I said I was going to do so I want 2023 to be a different year for me because I plan on changing so many aspects aspect of my life in the year 2023 so i'm ending this 2022 very well the next thing i want to do to make sure that i start 2022 20 that i start 2023 well to start in a reset is by setting my goals there are some goals that i want to achieve in my life apart from career goals there are also things that i want to do i want to have a healthier life so i'm already working towards that i want to have a healthier lifestyle so i'm already watch trying to watch what i eat trying trying to do more activities like since morning i've not really sat down for apart from when i came back from work and then i slept for like a few hours i've not really sat down i've been moving 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 up and down because i'm trying to infuse a healthy lifestyle into my life so i'm starting by already doing healthy things another thing i plan on doing in this year 2023 is to create a healthy um to create a new routine for myself so i've never had routine i've never had routine in my how many years in this life i've never had a routine so wake up at so 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 time do this at so 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 time Go to the laundry, do laundry, go um, go to the gym, eat at so so time, do this at so so time. I've never had it. I just wake up and do the life as life comes. But I don't want my 20. I always felt like having a routine is boring, is dry, is not is not spontaneous, which is true. But I've been living my 20 something years in this life the same way and it has not given me the result that i want so in the process of trying to change my life in this year 2023 i am creating a new routine i don't know the routine yet because i have to try different types of routine to be able to get to the particular one that will work for me so i'll be trying different types of routine i i i, I might wake up by 4 p 4 a.m i don't i don't like it i might wake up by 5 a.m i don't like it. i might wake up by 6 a.m every day and i'll like it and i'll start going with waking up by 6 a.m every day i might try eating breakfast and i don't like it i might try eating breakfast and i like it so those are the things i'm going to be i'm going to try to rediscover myself yes that's the word i try to just discover myself in trying to prepare for 2023 to have a awesome 2023 
because hmm, the way I've lived my life since, I don't want it to be the same for this new year. Unlike before, I'll just set goals, write it down. Pa, pa, pa. This is what I want to do in 2023. Uh, I want to make 1,000 million, 100,000. That's not how I want. I want to make conscious effort to achieve achieve a better a better lifestyle and to achieve my goals in this year. <laughs> this one is very important. So I'm somebody that, apart from not having routine, one thing I've not had again is investing in self-care so in this year what i plan on doing for this 2023 reset is to invest in self-care that is spend so many hours investing in my self-care investing in my skin in my where i look at where i wear what i wear so these are the things i'm going to be investing in to start 2023 on a good note so to recap one i am going to De de clean my environment which I already did um, declutter my wardrobe which you already saw in this video that I've already done um, invest in myself create a new routine for myself set attainable goals and also change my lifestyle to a healthier lifestyle so I am looking forward to 2023 that I'm going to have the best year yet because what I am doing this year is something that I have never done before in preparation for the new year. I just usually, I just usually say, oh, this is my um, new year resolution. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I never do them. And I know why I never do them because I do not end the year well. So this year, we are changing it by ending this year well than I started, than I ended 2021 so that 2023 can come out great so in preparation for 2023 there's there's something that i want to do i'm still if i got here i've been watching different people's 2023 reset 2022 reset what they do what they are not doing and so on and it has made me learn it has made me learn something and that thing is something i'm going to um infuse in my life this year and that is i want to 20 in my life in 2023 that means that is i want to pick a word or two words or three words that's going to um embody or that's going to describe what i plan on achieving for myself or what i or the goals i plan on setting for myself or the goals i plan on achieving in the year 2023 my three words are change reinvent and intentional be intentional about everything about my life i'm always very carefree i'm always very as the day goes i'm always very spontaneous about how i live my life but this new year i don't want it to be that way at all i want to be very intentional about my life i want to be very focused about my life i don't just want to see how the day goes see how the night goes see how the months goes i want to plan everything that happens so that i will not have the same results that i've been having all these years I'm, I'm specifically trying something different this year because i want i want to see a change in my life i want to see a total change in areas of my life that i would not seen before so no more jaga jaga no more no matter how it is no more let's see how it goes we have to be intentional about every area of our life so from next year i'm going to take a specific amount of days or months or weeks to prevent myself to change completely change my life so completely and then follow that full step to the end of the year i might follow the wagon i pray i don't but that's my major goal for this year that's my major um, plan for this year. Thank you so much for watching me declutter my wardrobe tell you about my 2023 reset and If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up or you plan on seeing my journey of completely having a goal-oriented 2023 Please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel so that you see 
more videos of where we're going until my next one bye